Oxford is a world-renowned city, home to 150,000 people, including over 40,000 students, and in normal times a bustling tourist destination, with around 7 million tourists visiting in a typical year. For those who live here, the city also offers unique and valued nature on its doorstep. And with more jobs than residents, tens of thousands of commuters regularly travel into the city, contributing to Oxford's thriving business economy. But Oxford is also vulnerable to floods. Oxford is a low-lying city where several rivers come together. Floods in recent decades have caused havoc, closing main roads, disrupting the main line railway line and causing extensive property damage. The impact on residents, commuters and businesses can be immense. In July 2007, the Botley and Abingdon roads were cut off. The railway line was flooded and many houses and businesses were damaged with people facing the trauma of leaving their homes for many months. In 2013, floods lasted throughout the winter. Heavy rain in December that caused initial flooding was followed by extreme downpours in January 2014 that caused rivers to overflow leading to devastation. Water levels remained high for months, presenting danger as well as severe stress and disruption. Floods in Oxford are typically long-lasting, taking many weeks to drain. The indirect impact alone caused by the disruption to railway and roads was estimated to cost around £45 million. But these floods of recent decades are nowhere near the scale we now expect to see. The climate emergency means that floods will become more frequent and more severe. Taking a look back to 1947 shows us what a major flood in Oxford can look like. In the Oxford area, even the local is deserted, and as for that slogan, well, they're telling us. This was flooding far bigger in scale than anything in recent memory. Over 3,000 properties were affected. Aerial photographs show the west of Oxford appearing like a giant lake. Floods of this scale are likely to occur much more often as our climate changes. An ambitious solution to improve Oxford's resilience to floods is needed. The Oxford Flood Alleviation Scheme has been designed by the Environment Agency, working with nine local partners. The scheme will work with the existing natural floodplain that runs through fields to the west of the city centre, lowering this area to create a new stream with a gently sloping floodplain alongside it. This design will create more space for flood water away from built-up areas, whilst also bringing additional environmental benefits, including creating new floodplain meadow and over 20 hectares of new wetland habitat that will form a wetland wildlife corridor and attract new species to the area. It's only a matter of time before Oxford again sees a major flood, shown here similar to the scale seen in 1947. With the scheme in place, all homes currently at risk of flooding from the River Thames will see their risk reduced and vital infrastructure and services will be kept open during floods. Over its lifetime, the scheme will save £1.4 billion by avoiding flood damage, as well as bringing wider benefits, with the new wetland landscape leaving a green legacy to the area, 
that will benefit wildlife and local people for generations to come. Helping Oxford adapt to our changing climate and face the increasing floods of coming decades. Thank you.